EZ80 Core for EZ80 Microcontrollers, Xilog. Welcome to this training module on Xilog EZ80 Core for EZ80 Microcontrollers. This training module provides an overview of EZ80 CPU's features and benefits and a description of the EZ80 processor. Xilog's EZ80 microcontrollers are high-performance 8-bit flash microcontrollers which offer a rich set of serial communication peripherals including two UARTs supporting multi-drop mode, I2C, SPI, and an IRTA NDEC that facilitates wireless data transfer. The EZ80 Acclaim System on Chip and EZ80 Acclaim Plus Ethernet application-specific standard product deliver the processing power and functions needed to deliver cutting-edge solutions. The EZ80 Acclaim Flash Microcontroller can operate in full 24-bit linear mode addressing 16 megabytes without a memory management unit. Adding to the EZ80 Acclaim feature set, the EZ80 Acclaim Plus touts an updated embedded internet software suite a flexible line of single board computers named ZDOTs, and an additional 10% system performance boost that equates to faster program execution and smaller memory space requirements over the current EZ80 Acclaim family. There are many applications that demand high performance 8-bit microcontrollers with flash memory and communication protocols including communications, industrial home automation, point-of-sale terminals, vending machines, security systems, and IP appliances. The EZ80 microcontrollers are suitable for these applications. Xilog's EZ80 CPU is a high-speed 8-bit microcontroller capable of executing code four times faster than a standard Z80 operating at the same clock speed. The increased processor efficiency of the EZ80 CPU improves available bandwidth and decreases power consumption. The EZ80 CPU's 8-bit processing power rivals the performance of competitors' 16-bit microcontrollers. The EZ80 CPU's instruction set is a superset of the instruction sets for the Z80 and Z180 CPUs. The EZ80 CPU is combined with peripherals, I.O. devices, volatile and non-volatile memory, etc. for various EZ80 CPU products within the EZ80 microcontroller product lines. The EZ80 CPU is an 8-bit microcontroller that performs certain 16 or 24-bit operations. A simplified Bach diagram of the CPU is displayed in the figure. Understanding the separation between the control block and the data block is helpful towards understanding the two EZ80 memory modes, Z80 mode and address and data long mode. The control block contains instruction fetch block, mode control block, and opcode decoder block. The instruction fetch block fetches opcodes and operands and keeps track of the start and end of each instruction. The mode control block of the CPU controls which mode the processor is currently operating in, halt mode, sleep mode, interrupt mode, debug mode, and address and data long mode. The opcodes are decoded within the CPU control block. The data block contains CPU registers, ALU, address generator, and data selector. They are used to perform the arithmetic and logic functions on the address and data passed over from the control block and create the address and place the appropriate result onto the data bus. The CPU pipeline reduces the overall cycle time for each instruction. In principle, each instruction must be fetched, decoded, and executed. This process normally spans at least three cycles. The CPU pipeline, however, can reduce the overall time of some instructions to as little as one cycle by allowing the next instruction to be prefetched and decoded while it executes the current instruction. In the figure, 
The pipelining process is demonstrated using a series of instructions. The second instruction prefetches its opcode and decode it during the decode and execute phases of the first instruction. When a control transfer takes place, the program counter does not progress sequentially. Therefore, the pipeline must be flushed. All prefetched values are ignored. Control transfer can occur because of an interrupt or during execution of a jump, call, return, restart, or similar instruction. After the control transfer instruction is executed, the pipeline must start over to fetch the next operand. The EZ80 CPU is capable of operating in two memory modes, Z80 mode and ADL mode. For backward compatibility with legacy Z80 programs, the CPU operates in the Z80 mode with 16-bit addresses and 16-bit CPU registers. For 24-bit linear addressing and 24-bit CPU registers, the CPU operates in address and data long, ADL mode. Selection of the memory mode is controlled by the ADL mode bit. The multiple memory modes of the processor allow CPU products to easily mix existing Z80 code or Z180 code with the new ADL mode code. When the ADL bit is cleared to zero, the CPU operates using Z80 compatible addressing and Z80 style 16-bit CPU registers. This Z80 memory mode is also occasionally referred to as non-ADL mode. Z80 memory mode is the default operating mode on reset. In this memory mode, all of the multiple internal CPU registers are 16 bits. Also, the 16-bit stack pointer short register is used to store the stack pointer value. The CPU employs an 8-bit M base address register that is always prepended to the 16-bit Z80 mode address. The complete 24-bit address is returned by the M base and address 15 through 0 bits. The M base address register allows Z80 code to be placed anywhere within the available 16 megabyte addressing space. This placement allows for 256 unique Z80 code blocks within the 16 megabyte address space. In ADL mode, all addresses and data are 24 bits. All data read and write operations pass three bytes of data to and from the CPU when operating in ADL mode. Thus, instructions operating in ADL mode may require more clock cycles to complete than in Z80 mode. Although M-Base does not affect operation during ADL mode, the M-Base register can only be written to when operating in ADL mode. The CPU contains two banks of working registers, the main register set and the alternate register set. The main register set contains the 8-bit accumulator, register A, and six 8-bit working registers, B, C, D, E, H, and L. The six 8-bit working registers can be combined to function as the multi-byte register pairs BC, DE, and HL. The 8-bit flag register F completes the main register set. Similarly, the alternate register set also contains an 8-bit accumulator A prime and six 8-bit working registers B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime, H prime, and L prime. These six 8-bit alternate working registers can also be combined to function as the multi-byte register pairs BC prime, DE prime, and HL prime. In addition to the two working register sets, the CPU contains several registers that control CPU operation, including interrupt page address register, index registers, 
Z80 memory mode base address register, program counter register, refresh counter register, stack pointer long register, and stack pointer short register. Interrupts allow peripheral devices to suspend CPU operation in an orderly manner and force the CPU to start an interrupt service routine. Usually, this interrupt service routine is involved with the exchange of data, status information, or control information between the CPU and the interrupting peripheral. When the service routine is completed, the CPU returns to the operation from which it was interrupted. The CPU responds to two different interrupt types, maskable interrupts and non-maskable interrupts. Non-maskable interrupts cannot be disabled by the programmer. A non-maskable interrupt request is always accepted when the peripheral device requests it. You can enable or disable maskable interrupts. A separate I.O. space may include both on and off chip peripheral devices. The EZ80 CPU is capable of addressing a 64 kilobyte I.O. space with 16 bit addresses. The memory and I.O. space share the same 24-bit address and 8-bit data buses. However, the I.O. peripherals are accessed using special I.O. registers including IN, OUT, and TSTIO. Whenever an I.O. instruction is executed, the upper byte of the 24-bit address bus is undefined. The EZ80 CPU instruction set includes many different memory addressing modes. The memory address can be formed using several different methods.